plans on going to REI but I have been dealing with an ongoing issue uh, with my batteries in my uh, van and the issue started probably about mm, I'd say four months five months after I had the van long story short I have two batteries in my van I have a coach battery that operates everything in the house part of the van the lights the refrigerator um, plug outlets all of that stuff USB connect USB plugins and then I have a chase battery and that's just the engine battery During the day when it's sunny out bright Sun I'm driving or even during the day when I'm not driving and it's sunny out um, My coach battery is perfect because the coach battery is not only connected to the one solar panel that I have up top But it's also connected to the alternator in the engine So the coach battery gets charged when I'm driving it and when I'm not driving it it gets charged via solar when I'm just parked During the day perfect, right? but at night at night The battery goes below 12 volts. It pretty much goes it dies, right? so I can either crank up the van to charge the battery or I can set my generator to automatically start once the coach battery goes below 12 volts and you say why don't you do that I, I have done it but the problem is when I'm stealth camping if I'm camping in a concealed parking lot that has constant security or if I'm stealth camping in a neighborhood side streets which I've done since I've been in Nevada I cannot do that because security will kick me out of the parking lot and or someone in that area of the neighborhood could call security or police on me so the problem is when the coach battery dies at night because the solar does it no longer work and I can't charge it via turning on my vehicle if I'm stealth camping my refrigerator starts to thaw out because my refrigerator is connected unfortunately to the coach battery what I'm going to do is I know REI has really good ice packs that will stay frozen and cold for over 24 hours. So right now I haven't, I've been buying my meats on a eat, eat basis. So if I'm going to eat like meat for the night, I'll get it that day. I won't get it and put it in the fridge because I don't want to have to deal with the fridge thawing out and all of that stuff. And the freezer thaws out completely. And I'm in Nevada. So if I was in like Colorado or a different state that wasn't as hot, I think I'd be okay. But since I'm in Nevada, it thaws, it completely thaws out my freezer and everything uh, at night. What I normally don't really have that problem. Normally the freezer is good till the next day and I could just put my meats in the freezer and it will just keep it cold. But since I'm in Nevada, it's not happening. So I need to prepare for just hotter states. So now that I've explained all that, I'm at REI to get some ice packs and potentially an ice bag that goes in my refrigerator so that I can put the meat in the bag and put the ice packs on top to keep it cold and through throughout the night. But I am researching right now getting my entire battery system changed to lithium. But right now we're just going to do a, a quick cheap fix. We're going to go to REI and check out the battery pack, the ice packs and the the um bags so let's go in and see if we can find something suitable so 
I found the section where they have like the insulated lunch boxes, but that's not what I'm looking for. They're too big for my fridge. But what I am looking for are the Yeti ice packs. Uh, that is the smaller size and then directly off to the left, uh, which I'm about to pick up is the larger size. And I think I'm gonna get one of each and just kind of see how that works out. Let's do a quick REI R E I haul <laughs> and then um, we'll get out of here. Uh, let's see here. Dang it, my table came open. That's fine. Right on time. Whoa. So let me uh, tell you, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So right now it's daylight. We're driving. It's sunny out. The coach battery is 13.6 volts. That's the chase. It's always going to be charged. That's just the engine battery. But this is the battery I'm talking about, the coach. 13.6 volts that's because it's bright it's sunny and the solar is being charged um if you can hear that noise that's my fridge it is currently on and working because of the solar being charged by the sun and it's 13.6 volts but at nighttime you don't hear that noise mm, you don't hear that because at nighttime the coach battery goes dead so I'm gonna give these Yeti ice things a try. They say use this in conjunction with ice. Um, it'll stay cold longer. Um, this is just not only for my meats or stuff that I need to keep cold at night. It's just to keep the refrigerator cold because my refrigerator is a bit warm, I noticed. And I think it's just because Nevada is very hot. So I got a smaller one and I got a larger one for the freezer. And then I just bought some batteries for my fan. Um, they're finally going dead. These Duracell batteries last a long time. I know I'm wasting my money by buying these. Everywhere I've gone, I've tried to look for uh, rechargeable D batteries and I can't find any. So I'm gonna have to order them on Amazon. And then I just bought a sticker. I've been collecting stickers now of the different places where I hike or where I go. And so I think what I'm going to do is get like um, a, a, a blank canvas and put it on this wall. And every time I go somewhere, put a sticker on it. Uh, I got to figure out where I'm going to put the stickers, but I think that's where I'm going to put it. I don't want to put anything up here. It would look a little tacky to me, but all right, let's throw these in the freezer. And then I'll show you. There we go. So this is what it looks like. I don't really have any food in my freezer or my refrigerator because I just don't want it to go bad. You know, I have this hummus and I hope it's not bad, but it was in there overnight, but here it is. And then I'm just going to get some ice and put the ice in here as well. And then um, let that, you know, freeze. So at nighttime, if I have any kind of meats or any foods or stuff like this, I'll just throw it in here. I need my waters. I'm going to down these waters. That's it. I don't have any food, guys. first um pick up some ice and uh grab some dinner for tonight i'm just looking for like some veggies and meat for tonight okay fam we are gonna do a quick whole foods haul 
first of all, let me say that Whole Foods is banging. They have a really nice bakery, uh, nice deli, nice meat, seafood department, but they're just way too expensive and the vibe ain't it. I'm still a Publix fan. And of course, Kroger and Meyer from Michigan. I will always be a Kroger and Meyer friend until the end. But Publix, I'm sorry. Um, it's still number one in my book. Way better than Whole Foods. I just watched a lady in Whole Foods get mad because a certain section of the checkout at Whole Foods, you gotta use card. It's no more cash, uh, permanent now card only she got so mad was cussing because she could not use cash to pay for her food hey lady how about you be grateful that you you have cash to pay for anything because I just gave a lady who was houseless a ziploc bag full of tampons and wipes because she asked and she needed it so I provided her with personal hygiene products because she couldn't afford it so it just turned me off that she was so mad that she could not pay with cash that she had to use card I was just like turned all the way off there are people out there that would be die to be able to have the option to pay with cash or card lady please I'm so turned off Whole Foods is just too expensive. I paid $3 for this bag of ice. Um, it was the only grocery store in the area. I'm sure if I would have searched around, I could have found better, but out of convenience, I just went to Whole Foods. Um, for, for the foreseeable future, I will not be going to Whole Foods. No. Uh, Publix is my expensive place to go. They're very, just Publix is just good. So I'm gonna put this in, I um, also got some other stuff. I'll do a Publix haul, or Publix. I'll do a Whole Foods haul. One second though, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I just still couldn't get over her being upset. Oh, that's an inconvenience. She said, that's a big effing inconvenience. What? Lady, oh my goodness, I was so turned off. Oh, man. Mm -mm. I think too, the ice will help keep the refrigerator just cool, period. Um, I have a feeling once I go to a, a state where the temperatures aren't as high that um, I will be having this problem. I got my AC on. I don't know if I said that, but. Never thought I would say this, but I definitely miss Publix, man. That was my store. I don't care. Charge me whatever. I'm going back. I love Publix. I'm not wasting this ice. It's going to be in my freezer. Two big bags of ice. Uh, let me show you. This is what my freezer is looking like. I don't like that I have to keep opening the fridge, but um, those are just drinks and stuff. Coconut uh, electrolytes and stuff. Um, the beers, this is from Texas. And then this is the one I bought that I was supposed to drink in Texas, but goes to show you I'm not an I don't really drink, so I'm not a big alcohol drinker. But here's the freezer. Um, that's what I got and hopefully that works keeping everything in here cool 
Okay, so let's do a quick haul. I'm gonna make, I know this probably sounds gross to you guys, but a lot of you guys, but I'm making bacon fried rice. I'm on like this Canadian bacon bacon kick. Um, I got mushrooms for the fried rice. Um, I got some tomatoes for the fried rice. I'm gonna break my fast and eat these plums. I got a jalapeno for the fried rice. I got this bacon. I'm not gonna use it all, but I'll put the rest in the freezer. This is bourbon, um, brown sugar bourbon bacon. Oh yes. And then I got this because I'm gonna drink my greens. And then bread cheese, which I'm gonna put in the freezer uh, tonight because I love bread cheese. Uh, this is the best ever. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Now, okay, this is good. Put this in the refrigerator. Thought I saw something. Your girl was being nosy. So I was getting ready to leave uh, the Whole Foods parking lot area, but there is literally a Planet Fitness right there. So it's like, why use my water when I can use theirs? I do need to conserve water. I am a little under half a tank. So I'm gonna head up a shower and I'll check, I'll check in with you guys after my shower. So see you guys in a bit. Let us take a moment to just admire how clean the locker room is. I mean, the shower room was very clean. The changing room was clean. I mean, look at the showers across the way. Not only were they big and spacious, but they were extremely clean inside. I've been in a lot of Planet Fitness, and I can say with certainty that this is one of my top three favorite Planet Fitnesses for cleanliness and just how they keep it up. shower was amazing. I'm letting my hair dry. I washed my hair and um, I just turned on the generator so that we can get some um, um, AC in here. There it is. AC! Oh, it feels good going through my wet hair. <sighs> a chill day I got what I needed to get done done so now I'm gonna go find a spot to hunker down for the night I think somebody's side street <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling and a little bit of reading and then make some dinner so let me put my bathroom stuff up let me show you guys where I'm at and what it looks like we are in the parking lot of a Whole Foods Planet Fitness Barnes & Noble. That's out my side window. I always try to find trees to kind of park next to. And there's uh, trees right there. So kind of hides me and it shades me. And then on the other side of this tree is that Planet Fitness. And so when I'm in my van and I'm chilling wherever I'm at, I always keep these closed because it, ins it, 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 it helps insulate my van as well. So that's why I don't always have this open unless I'm cooking to set the scene. But most times I keep it closed for two reasons, to keep the van cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter, or to kind of conceal my location because I might come back and chill. You know, we live in a crazy world. I'm not saying you guys are crazy, but there's just that always going to be those few people out there that are willing to just do the unthinkable. So it's very cool in here. But if you go like on the other side of those curtains, it's hot. All right. I am going to relax a little bit and then uh, find my spot where I'm going to sleep for the night. Today was very productive and I feel good. Current temp in the van, 
uh, one second. Current tip in the van is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. It literally doesn't feel like that. I think a lot of it too is because I was, you know, taking a shower and the van kind of heated up. But yeah, I'm gonna grab me some cold water with my little leftover ice and uh, relax a little bit, and uh, I'll see you guys for I'll see you guys for dinner. So I have been sitting in this same parking lot. Um, as you can see, my battery, the coach battery is 11.6 volts. Um, I think the sun is going down and we are in some shade. But once we start driving, um, it'll charge up. Um, yeah, there we go. It charged up to 13.3. So we just got to drive and we are in some shade. I'm just going to take a look, a quick look at, yeah, nice and, looks like they're nice and frozen. So yeah. And so we'll see how the night goes with that. We'll check in the morning. Here's the finished results. It's bacon fried rice. I used uh, thick cut bacon that was uh, brown sugar, bourbon, maple flavor. I used um, jalapeno peppers, um, wh white onions, and uh, a tomato, a, rom a small Roma tomato. And I cut all this up before I started just to make the process faster and easier, but I bought all this fresh from uh, Whole Foods. I didn't season it with anything. I kind of just used the natural seasonings and flavors from the bacon and stuff. First bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. Mmm. Get a napkin. I can't put my generator on because I'm stealth camping in a casino parking lot that has round the clock security and they're on bikes and they come patrolling. They're everywhere. And if they catch you in here sleeping in your vehicle, they'll ask you to leave. So I'm going to have to endure a little bit. But when I'm once I'm done eating, I'll crack the window and stuff and dim the lights. This was just a, honestly, like I said, a typical day for me. 
most days I'm chilling. I'll go on like a hike or something now or try to get some kind of exercise in. If I do have any little errands or anything like that, groceries or anything, I'll take care of that. And then I find me a spot with shade, open my window and chill. Mm hmm That jalapeno is really nice in here. It's, it's hot. That's jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's hot. <clears throat> um, the star of the show is definitely the coconut rice. Fantastic. And the onions. The whole thing is good. I like that I didn't season this meal because I wanted to taste the, the bacon flavor. I wanted to taste, oh, I thought it was something. I just wanted to taste the flavor of the bacon and all the, ve the vegetables that I used in here. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go on a hike. Let's get some exercise in, see some beautiful sights. And it's actually cooling off in here. Ooh, I'm happy. <clears throat> I got some left. I'm gonna throw in the freezer and eat probably tomorrow for lunch. Um, probably add like some peas or something to it. I think that'd be good. Mm. It is six in the morning and we are getting ready to head out on a hike. Um, I just get dressed. I kind of brush whatever trash or garbage that I have in a little circle get rid of that and then I have this trash that I'm gonna take out so let's do that first <clears throat> put my shoes on here been wearing those shoes to hike they've been really comfortable so now we're gonna throw this trash out and then prepare to head out we gotta look for any security guards because they do have security riding around here faithfully oh it feels so good out here it's nice and warm not warm but breezy oh that breeze feels good and that's the best time to go on hikes is right now. Early in the morning or go for your run early in the morning. So we're gonna do that. <sighs> All right, let's grab this trash, let's throw it out. the sun rising you got Trump Towers <laughs> be 
before we go, let's check out the um, refrigerator situation. It just cut on back on when I started up my van. But here it is. Still got that ice. Everything in here is nice and cold. You can see a little water. Uh, look at that the water coming off of it. But you still got the ice. It's still ice. Let's see if these things, see these things thawed out. You see them moving? But it's still really cold. Very, very cold in here. So. Put the bacon in there, put the onion back. You know, these are just fruits and mushrooms. That's fine. But yeah, that is the situation. I mean, it worked pretty decent. Everything stayed cold. Uh, the ice from the ice bags that I had did not melt because we had the Yeti ice packs. If we didn't have the Yeti ice packs, I have to believe that that ice in those Ziploc bags would have melted. So I'm, I'm happy. Everything remained cold. My food is good. I don't have to toss that bacon out. I will not eat pork, uh, like bacon, if um, that freezer would have thawed out and everything would have been warm. I would have got sick. All right, that's perfect. I'm happy. All right, uh, let's go for this hike. Let's go see how beautiful the morning is. It's perfect weather, it's 76 degrees. So let's hurry up before it gets to like 100. I know there's rattlesnakes and stuff out here. It's other kind of snakes too. This is a dog friendly hiking trail too, trailhead because it's a lot of people that have dogs out here. This is a moderate, difficult trail, moderate. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so glad I started this trail uh, early. Cause I wanted to do it yesterday, fix you guys up, but it was too hot. A lot of heels. Uh, we're gonna cut up and go up that way. It's a big steep, big steep climb. Hmm. Good for the heart.
Look at that. I kind of want to go up and over that way. Let's go. We'll see. Look at that cave, or right there. Okay. That gorgeous. It's like we're on top of the world. We can see the city. Well, I'm gonna go up a little ways further, and I don't know how safe it is for me to try to climb over um, that I want to try to climb over it but I don't think that's a good idea I should just go back down there and uh, continue <coughs> Oh, that was a climb. Very steep. Check this out. Anybody know what this is? Is this like a cactus? What is that? Not cool. They're all up here. Whoo! You can see the city from up here. Oh. I've gauged the riskiness of climbing up there and going over and going over. It's too risky. So we're gonna go back on the trail and continue on, but we took a little detour. All right, let's get up out of here. Thank goodness for this walking stick. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I'm, I think I'm developing a passion for rock climbing because we were just right up there trying to get over there <sighs> thinking that I might want to start taking some rock climbing classes that is so cool hiking with rock climbing okay we're back on the path we're back on the trail it doesn't get better than that oh my goodness Sheesh. That was nice. This uh, walking stick saved my ankles from getting twisted up. Look at that. So many beautiful plants. That's beautiful, isn't it? And the sun is starting to come up, too. Oh. Woo. Oh, look at that cluster. Look at that. Oh, 
Whew. Had to take a little detour here. Cross over this rock formation. Uh, I like hikes like this because you get to see the city. Uh, you get to see these beautiful rock formations, the mountains, or you know, I could go that way, but uh, do I have the energy, man? Uh, let's go a little ways, see what's up here. Woo! Oh, wow. There's an actual trail. No way. Oh, no way. No. <laughs> no way. Uh-uh. Nope. There's no way I'm climbing. Climbing up the side of the mountain. Oh. My legs don't have the strength. I'm about to stop and get me some water. That's cool. You got cactus growing out of the rocks. I think that's so cool. <sighs> Look at that cave. Look at that cave. Do we go in there? Do we? Why not? Uh, I can run. Hopefully I won't break any ankles, but we're about to go see what's in this cave. Oh, this is a steep hike. Oh, man. Look at that trail right into that cave. Sheesh. right there huh. let's go this definitely tests your endurance can you imagine Whew. it's a small whoa This is stuff I live for. Right here. We're almost there. Here's the cave. Isn't that cool? There's the cave. And there's one over there, but I'm not gonna make it. Whew. We're literally overlooking the the city of I think Las Vegas in this beautiful I think it's time for water and for me to conclude this hike uh, it's a far one
I'm gonna start heading back to the to the van. I hiked a, over a mile and a half up and down these big mountains, checking out awesome caves. I kind of want to check out that cave right there, but uh, I don't want to. I could climb over there, but I, I'm weak. <laughs> I'll see you guys back at the van. I made it back. That was pretty difficult. I think that's probably one of my more difficult hikes. Uh, like sh climbing straight up those mountains. You see those little trails that go all the way up. I wanted to go that way and go up that way, but yeah, <clears throat> I'm a beginner. Uh, the hardest part was just going up the mountain, up, up, up. The trails kept taking you up, up, up. And even though you would go up and then you would level out, you're still on the side of the mountain. My legs don't exist. Like I have no legs, thighs, calves. I have, my legs don't exist. <laughs> it was definitely a good workout. Uh, just a good way to clear your mind, burn off energy. I'm gonna go find some place to kind of hunker down. I'm gonna get me a shower. All right, guys, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. I need to figure out a way to stand up because I literally cannot stand up right now. Whew. That's how you know the hike was good. I'm done. Shower's done. I did spray down my shower. I'm gonna clean it up here in a bit. Um, let it soak for a bit. But that's it for this video. I am not hungry as I had a bunch of water and a ghost energy drink after my hike. I just don't have an appetite <laughs> right now. I'm still a little hot, but I feel good now. The AC's on and stuff. It feels good. But as far as an appetite, I don't have one. So I think what I'm gonna do is after this video, I'm just gonna go to the place where I'm gonna hunker down for the night, get some rest and prepare and prepare for my day tomorrow. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, tagging along, keeping me company. You guys are freaking amazing. I'll say it until I can't say it no more. I have the best community on YouTube. You guys are extremely humble and just so, just sweet. <laughs> Thank you for that. But your girl's out of here. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.